my name's Andy Wiltshire, I'm a climate scientist here at the Met Office Hadley Centre. Uh, in particular I do a lot of work on the climate impacts on water resources. This map shows uh, the potential impacts of hitting 4 degrees. Uh, this is we don't mitigate climate change. Now some of these impacts are uncertain but they're all very plausible. Um, so what we want to take away from this is the message that, that we do need to mitigate climate change, otherwise these are the potential impacts that we may see. It's very hard actually to formally attribute uh, uh, glacial melt to climate change. So, for instance, we know at the moment observations tell us the climate has changed in the Himalayas, and we also know that uh, the glaciers have changed in the Himalayas. Uh, but what we're less certain about is whether that cause is directly a result of climate change um, due to the complex nature of the processes. Um, uh, this means in the future we are more uncertain about the response to glaciers to climate change than we are about the climate change itself. But uh, by the end of the century, given unmitigated climate change, then we do expect glaciers to be receding. Glaciers are important for water resources in a number of regions of the world, but in particular the Himalaya. Um, in the Himalayas, the glaciers and also the snow cover uh, prov provides a store of water uh, that goes into the dry season. Uh, when this melts, this provides a source of water that goes through the main uh, populated areas of uh, India into the Indo-Gangetic plain, where it's used for irrigation, for domestic withdrawal and such forth. Um, under climate change, we might expect this, uh, uh, this melt to actually occur er earlier, so we'd have an extended dry season, uh, and this could be very important to the water available to everyday people for use in uh, their homes and for crops.